Hey, it's Adam from Outlier, and I know that I always talk about the wonderful world of home runs and batter props, but today we're going to talk a little bit about a fun prop that isn't really bet as much outs on the pitcher's side. Boom. Again, favorite part, when my head gets small and does that kind of thing. So outs is really important because it's basically a alt that you can take instead of maybe strikeouts. Maybe you think that a pitcher is going to go further into a game. If you find out that he's on a pitch count, all sorts of things. These are a lot of external information that you want to use while you figure out uh, the pitch counts, uh, while you figure out outs. So <clears throat> uh, I like to, first things I like to do is to adjust the juice in here. I don't really like paying more than 150. That's buyer's choice. Um, but what I want to do is I want to, because we're early in the season, I want to look at recently. Uh, I want to see who's been doing what. Reese Olsen, he's actually a guy who I'm pretty high on overall. Reese Olsen, over 15 and a half outs. Now, obviously, three outs per inning, 15 and a half outs means that you want him to get at least one out in the sixth. Um, he has done this in his last five starts. If you go back to last year, uh, or so far this year, he's already done it. So it'd be very weird for him to backtrack and not do it the other way. Uh, though he is going against a Pittsburgh team that has been hitting pretty well. Uh, last year, though, you can see towards the end of the season, absolutely nailing this all the time. Um, another thing to look at while you're looking at this is the batter's face. His average batter's face, uh, he gets 15.3 outs 73% of the time. These are pretty good odds for us and usually faces 21 um, batters. So <clears throat> that said, another thing to look at is to make sure that these numbers here are in green. These are last year's numbers, but you want to make sure that you hit the pitcher as a good matchup because essentially you want them to average about 15 pitches per inning, five pitches per at bat. Things get higher than that. They start to lose steam. There's a, you run the risk of them getting pulled early or even getting shelled. If you already think it's a good matchup, which I do for this, that's why outs is probably a good take. So he's right now, again, we saw that he did this um, uh, in his last five starts, He uh, dating back to last year. He also um, already went the 17 against the Mets. I think this is a good one, guys. Uh, I'm just going to show you one other one just so that we can see. We're going to search for this together. Um, uh, let's see. There's a, the Zach, Zach Allen outs is a, is a pretty good one here, and it's you know, you're going to start to notice that there's some key numbers like 17 and a half is a key number because 18 would be six full innings. Um, so you really just need uh, for 16 and a half, you just need him to get two outs in the sixth inning for this to hit. Uh, let's see. Oh, we also have these all set to the over. Oh, my goodness. There's a whole world that we didn't even think about without this. Uh, like James packed is under 15 outs. Let's see what he's done in his last. 20 because we want to see how the guys did dating back to last year. Do we have anything that's kind of all green? Um, uh, what about his last 10? Let's see if they started slow, started strong. Let's do this. Ooh, Nestor Cortez has not done well. Um, but he's going against a pretty hitter-friendly team. Let's take a look at this. We'll dive in a little bit more. Oh man, he has only gone over this two times. He was hurt obviously last year, but he's only gone over this twice um since since last year. Um, this is might be another good one. So check this out under 17 and a half plus 115. I like that one as well. Again, we're going to look down here. Oh man, Miami. I mean, they haven't changed this year. We can take a look at it, but they haven't changed this year. They're pretty much the same team. They strike out a lot. You like to kind of look here about how guys do against them. Uh, lead off hitter with a 25% K rate. Um, you know, you got guys with 33% K rates, generally seeing how guys do against left-handed pitching. Um, you can see this here, 29% K rate, 22%. These are the stats that you want to take into account when you're looking at whether or not an outs prop is the right one for you. Again, outs are a really good alternative to strikeouts or some of these hitter props because, you know, they could be cruising along. And if you think it's a good matchup, it's a really good way to do it. Or if you think it's not a great matchup, it's a good way to do it. So that being said, my name is Adam. You can find me at Hey Rosenberg, um, on that, on Pickett, on Instagram, on Twitter, all the things. Um, and you can also follow at outlier.bet. That's at outlier.bet. All one word, not at outlier, but at outlier.bet. Find us on all of the channels, um, especially Pickett, because we're having a lot of fun on that one lately. A lot of the folks in the community sharing things. I will see you in a future video.